Okay, boys, let's go, let's go. Chris Dealey for Squeak. We're standing here at Trinity College in Hartford, Connecticut, home of the Trinity Bantams. The squash team has won nine consecutive championships and has some kind of crazy mad win streak. We'll give you the facts a little later on. But today, we're going to talk to Paul Asianti, the head coach and also the players of the squash team. Highway signs will come down, streaks will end, but we will always be brothers in war. We will not today, under any circumstances, give in to this moment. Come! Did you envision this kind of success Oh my here? God, no. This isn't what I came here to do. Right. I came here to coach wonderful young people right. and, you know, and oversee the most four challenging years of their lives. Right. And it took on a life of its own. Like, no way did we expect this. You know, it's really quite shocking. It really is bigger than us. Our players have come from England, Botswana, South Africa, Zimbabwe, India, Pakistan, Bermuda. Canada. My name is Supreet. I'm from India. It's David Sullivan. I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Tommy Wolf. I'm from New York. Basit Ishwag Chaudhary from Lahore, Pakistan. Well, you know, I'm not doing a lot of squash teaching here. I mean, these kids are really, really good. These guys are little rock stars on campus. What I'm good at is playing squash. And this is a place where squash is given a lot of respect. You have a lot of people coming up to you before a game, oh, good luck. and after a game, well played, and like walk around campus and stuff. Every one of these kids has been raised to believe that they're you know, the heroes of their club, their league, their country. We're a team. And number 20 and number one to me are one and the same. And you've got to put that stuff aside. Coach Asiante really cultivates a family atmosphere. And I've learned over the last three years that I'm responsible for each of my teammates beside me. What we talk about and what I coach is I talk about the awesome power of now. I talk to them about living every moment of their lives like it's the last second on earth. I want them to live their life like their hair is on fire. When they're in the classroom, I want that to be the best class they ever go to. And when you get involved in that stuff, you start getting more out of kids than they might normally get. And also, it takes all the extraneous stuff away. It's the Japanese philosophy, which is that you cry in practice and you laugh in competition. Because it's not hard to get a 19-year-old excited to compete but it's very hard to f have them find motivation every day in practice. They all are required to condition away from practice. We don't use up practice time for conditioning. We'll condition together plyometrics, uh, lactic acid, a lot of running. You know, I don't believe in practice. I believe in perfect practice. Very short, very intense. We get them in and we get them out. I want them to have a complete college experience, but I can tell you that I have their attention for an hour and a half a day. There are a couple of great coaches in this game, in the game of college squash. I think Bobby Callahan of Princeton is a tremendous man. He's just a prince. What do you respect about him? What are the tenets of, of what he's he does? He's all about sportsmanship and integrity. He's all about doing the game properly. And this is our family. It's the Trinity Squash family. And they have this history of success. You know, there's a sense of pride. Say, Trinity College, maybe the greatest college sports team of all time. You be the judge. 